Hello, in this dot programming video, I am going to show you maps. So maps allow you to store values, store data. So it's a it's a dynamic collection. You can add, add as much data as you want. And it uses a key value pair system. So you provide it a unique key, and you provide it a value. The way you access that value or overwrite that value is by using that unique key. The value does not have to be unique though. So if we, you know, to create a map, pretty simple. We can, we just do var, and then the map name, so I'm gonna call it epic map equals curly braces. Now you put your first key. So I'm gonna say this key one, just keep it simple. Then you put a colon, then you put the second value. And this value doesn't have to be a string, it could be a number, no, 345 then separate the next key value pair with a comma so if I put key 2 and but for this I'll put the value as something else epic value and if we were to print it out we could print out epic map and if we run it we get you know well the map printed out. But maybe we just want to get a single value. To get a single value, so that'd be pretty simple. We just do print epic map. And then we put square brackets. We specify the actual key itself. So if I say key two, it'll print out epic value. Or you'll retrieve the value and then we'll print it out. Maybe you want to go through the entire map and you know get every individual value. You could do that by using a four you know each loop and if you're not familiar with that I recommend checking out the loops part of this series so you just do for var you no know, val so that's gonna be short for value in epic map and okay so what is that moaning about let's take a look Sorry, you're not meant to be using a for loop for this. It is using the for each method that's built in. So it's epic map dot for each. And you put key comma value. So we're getting each key and each value. Then we are basically using the arrow operator. Then we can do something, so we're going to print it out in this case. So we are just going to say print out dollar key and dollar value. So we'll just print out the key and values. So we get key one and 345, key two and epic value. That's really it. There's actually one last thing I want to show you there's one other thing i want to discuss after that but there's just one last thing i want to show you maybe you want to add some more to technically three things there's another thing i just thought of maybe you want to add some more values to do this really simple you just do epic map square brackets then a new key so key three if you do an existing key you'll override that value equals then a new value so if i say 67 and i run this We'll get the same, but you'll just have the new value there as well. The other thing I want to show you, maybe we don't know what the values are going to be initially, and they're going to be added, you know, basically afterwards. So we can get rid of this and put new map. Actually, I'll comment it out, but I'll still leave it in for the source code on GitHub. Equals new map instead and if we run that we get no here because key two doesn't exist but key three gets added so if we don't know the initial values or we don't have any initial values then this is the way to go so that's it the last thing i wanted to mention there are a variety of methods and properties that you can use properties such as getting the keys which we've just shown you we can get the length and check if it's empty in terms of function you can clear it so that it just removes all pairs from the map 
you can remove a particular key and its associated value as well so there's an individual one and you can add you know maps to maps i'm going to provide you with a link that describes how to do all of that and but if you have any question feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video